Hi, I'm author Alma Katsu. Some of you guys may know me from my historical horror novels like The Hunger and the Deep, but I'm here today answering some questions to tell you about my new novel, which is coming out March 23rd, Red Widow, which is actually an espionage novel. And that's the reason why I'm doing these questions, so that um, you can get to know me and know that the reason why I wrote this book is not just because I woke up one day and decided that I wanted to try to write a spy novel, but because I've actually had a career spanning over three decades working in federal intelligence, working in agencies like CIA and NSA. And I know from experience when people meet someone who's actually done that kind of work, they have a ton of questions. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to ask real readers to send me their questions, which I'm going to answer in these short videos. And I'll release couple, two or three a week in the weeks leading up to publication date, which is March 23rd. Um, so, and at the end, I'm going to give you some links and some ways so that hopefully if you like what you see today, you'll continue to follow these videos and maybe even suggest them to your friends. So the first question is, what made you want to do this kind of work? And for those of us writing about, um, the three letter agencies, what do you suggest, you know, what reference works do you suggest for accurate research? Well, those are great questions, and I'm going to answer them in two parts. So the first part, what made me want to do this type of work? The answer might not be what you think it is, which is, I didn't think I would do this line of work. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a writer. Knowing that I'm a novelist today, that might seem like a no-brainer. But at the time... Um, you know, it was a hard thing. This was before the internet. If you didn't know someone who was a, a novelist, for instance, if that's what you wanted to do, it, it seemed almost impenetrable. How do you do that kind of line of work? Well, I'd been given the advice that, you know, if you want to write novels, you have to have something to write about. You need to go out and have life experiences. Well, I had the opportunity to test, to apply for a job, with NSA, the National Security Agency. And this was a long time ago, and no one knew anything about NSA. Well, just the application process was quite an experience. So I went through that, took several days, and lo and behold, I tested well and they offered me a job. And I took the job thinking that I would only stay a few years, get this experience, and then go back to writing. And lo and behold, I ended up having an entire career in intelligence. Now, I'll tell you, that's probably a little rare today. Um, I've gotten a couple questions about how does one actually get a job in intelligence, and I'm going to do another video on that. And I actually have a lot to say about it because I did a year in recruiting. But um, these days, people who get into intelligence really want to be in that line of work. You know, they study for it, they get their degrees in it in school and that sort of thing. But for me, strangely enough, I kind of fell into it, and it was a fabulous career. Um, I got to do things that I never thought when I was a kid. Um, growing up in the suburbs of Boston, I never thought I'd do work like this, get involved in some of the fields that I did, mathematics and very technical work and that sort of thing. And it really helped me grow as a person. So was, I was very pleased and proud to have had that career. Now, for those of you who are interested in writing about intelligence agencies and in espionage, there are a lot of res resources out there for you, but a lot of them aren't that good, I have to tell you. A great resource for this is um, the CIA actually has a, pop a list of recommended reads. Um, and they started doing this because uh, it was sort of a resource for, for people who were interested in pursuing a career in intelligence. And you used to be able to find it pretty easily on the CIA website, which is CIA.gov. But it's hard to find these days. So I'll post a link to the recommended reading list in the comments section of, the video, of this video. But I will tell you about a couple books that I think are exceptional. And one is this one right here. An Ordinary Spy by Joseph Weisberg. And yes, that's the same Joseph Weisberg who is the mastermind behind the TV series The Americans. Now, Joe Weisberg went through the training program for the clandestine service many years ago. And he left after the training program. But, you know, he's a pretty smart and sensitive guy. And um, the lessons he took away from the training program about what it means to have a life in intelligence, especially in the clandestine service, he put into this book, and I highly recommend this book to folks who, are, who actually are interested in pursuing a career in the clandestine service, because it's not what it looks like if you just watch Jason Bourne 
and James Bond. And Joe really captured the difficulties and the moral dilemmas that come with this life. So this is an excellent book if you can find it. And then a nonfiction book that I would highly recommend is a, a book called Class 11, My Story Inside CIA's First Post-9-11 Spy Class. And I apologize for not having my, my copy with me. I think it's packed away in storage. We just moved a little while ago. That book is by T.J. Waters. And again, I'll put links to both these books in the comments section. But I met T.J. after the fact. He, too, ended up leaving the clandestine service a little while after he, he got into it, after a few years of experience. But that's an excellent book that tells really takes you through what it's like once you get the job and um, what the training is all about and, and again the kind of challenges that you face when you first undertake this career. So there's a couple resources for you. I hope you find them helpful. Um, if you do, I hope you write to me or, or come back and leave comments. And so now I have to get to the salesmanship part of it, right? If you like this video, please like or subscribe, share the links with your friends, tell your friends, drive them over. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a whole series of them. If you have questions for me, feel free to drop those in the comments section and I'll try to get to as many of these as I can. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll come back for the next one.